everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. In today's video, I did some homemade pimento cheese for you. I'm a big pimento cheese fan. Especially when it's homemade. It's good for dips or sandwiches or however you want to make it. did some pinwheels with these. And I'll start off with my velvet here, getting it grated up. And I use about a third of a block. Good tip for you when you start using that. Make sure you get it good and cold. That way it'll grate really easy for you. And then I switch to my sharp cheddar, extra sharp. And I use about two cups of it grated up. And I uh, started mixing it in. And then I started on my already shredded bag cheeses that I had. And I did the pepper jack. And it was like an eight ounce bag. Mixed it in. Then came the mozzarella. It was like a six ounce bag, I think. Mix it in and through. And then mix in the Swiss here. I think it was an eight ounce bag as well. Get it mixed good and through. And then the Parmesan came next. And he used about a fourth of a cup of it. It was already grated. Start it mixing through. And then I'll start on the uh, wet ingredients side and the sauce that's going in it and it's pretty simple sauce I'll have everything in the description down below for it start off by just chopping up my onion just one small onion chop it up uh, good and fine because I don't want big chunks of onion in there I like the crunch and the flavor I just don't want big chunks and then my Pimentos went in next, and make sure you drain the pimentos off because you don't want it too soupy and wet when you're making it. And then there's the sauce here. It's just mayonnaise, hot sauce, pepper, and uh, I think that's it. But like I said, I'll have everything in the description down below. And then you just pour in your sauce and start combining and mixing everything through. And then once it's good and combined, either you can use it for like your dips or sandwiches or, or whatever. With, with these, I did my pinwheels. So you'll get you a, a layer of cheese out and go with about maybe a one inch border around the edge. And then roll it up really good and fine. And then put it in the fridge for about 15 minutes, get it good and cool. Slice it into about one inch pieces. And then serve. And that's it. Anyways, I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.